Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DeepV tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the stats table right here and how you can use it to get a quick snapshot of the EPS and sales growth of any stock that you're taking a look at. So first things first, you can see that we've got the earnings row here, we've got the sales rows here. If you highlight over any single quarter that's been reported, you can see the reported EPS, the estimate for that quarter, the percentage surprise, as well as dollar surprise, which we'll get into in just a second. And you can do the same thing for revenue. You can see the reported numbers, estimate, surprise, as well as the surprise in dollar values. And I do want to highlight that this data here is non-GAAP, uh, which is important here. And this growth number, this percentage, is a representation of the growth in revenue, or EPS, versus the same quarter the year prior to take into account uh, seasonality. So that's really important. And it's very helpful to see that trend versus the same quarter the year prior. And you can also take a look at this using the annual estimates. If you go ahead and click this icon right here, you can switch back and forth between quarterly and annual, and also take a look at uh, four quarters versus eight quarters, whatever you would prefer. And you can uncheck any of these right here. And in the future, we'll have margins data down here, as well as any other data point that you can plot on a quarterly basis. So with the basics out of the way, I do wanna talk through an example here with Zscaler back in 2020 and basically how you can use these estimates, look at the surprise numbers to gain an edge in the markets. So first things first, looking at this day right here, on May 28th, Zscaler was set to report um, its EPS for that quarter. You can see we had a gap up the next day and this was driven based on the numbers of this earnings report right here. And you can see that the earnings came in well above the estimates, a 225% surprise, and the sales also had a slight surprise as well, but it's really this number right here that drove that interest and caught the street off guard, which led to that gap up on earnings, which eventually resulted in a very strong trend. Uh, if we zoom out here, you can see this led to a breakout from this overall base and a nice trend above the moving averages over the next you know 200 days or so, and let's go ahead and map out from that close, we've got about a 300% gain from that EPS day close. So if you take a look at the estimates and see a large surprise number in terms of earnings, sales, uh, that should tell you to basically keep an eye on that stock and basically look for the next setup. And that's why this is a really useful tactic uh, to gain an edge in the markets. Uh, and it's something that I use every day, taking a look at the stocks, uh, looking at what the EPS reports are, uh, what the estimates are as well, which we'll get into in just a second, um, and basically uh, look for stocks that have really high surprise numbers. Uh, so moving forward, I also want to take a look at um, and highlight the estimates data that we have here in Deep View. Uh, you can see that this is going back, you know, quite a few quarters uh, back to 2019 and even further than that for uh, Zscaler. Uh, but moving forward to current times, you can see the division right here. Uh, this signifies that anything to the right is estimate data. Anything to the left is a reported data. And let's actually move on over uh, to current um, price action as well. Definitely not as impressive as it's, as it's run in 2020, uh, but it's good to point out that technicals often lead these numbers, even though this can drive the overall move. Um, actually, one thing before we get to the estimates, I do want to highlight uh, this thick bar here. That basically shows you that um, over the course of three consecutive quarters, we see acceleration in terms of EPS growth. You can see it's from 13% to 78% to 107%, and then it accelerated for one more quarter to 184%. So we just wanna really highlight this acceleration trend. Uh, this can really drive major moves, and we actually see that uh, back in the strong trend uh, that we were talking about. Uh, you can see that we saw acceleration in revenue growth and also EPS growth, which is being priced in resulting in that strong trend. So this bar right here, whether it's under the EPS data or sales data is really important. And you wanna make sure uh, that when you're tabbing through and you see that bar, uh, you take a little bit longer on stocks showing that acceleration. And in addition to showing acceleration with a blue bar, uh, we also have a red bar which signals deceleration. So keep an eye out for that on your stats table as well. Uh, so going back to the estimates, you can see we've got quite a few quarters of estimate data, about 10 quarters uh, for each stock. And this lets you kind of 
get insight in the future um, expected growth in any stock that you're taking a look at. And this is something that many platforms uh, don't offer at the price point that we're offering at it. Uh, this kind of granularity in terms of estimates, what the street is expecting, uh, what they're looking for in terms of growth. And this can give you a strong edge versus the rest of the competition in seeing what a company uh, is expecting in terms of earnings and sales. So I'm always taking a look at the future estimates in terms of both earnings growth as well as sales growth and really focusing in on stocks, showing that really strong growth uh, in the future. Because to some extent, uh, what's you know happened in the past is the past, and the market is always looking forward uh, to what you know the street is expecting when it comes to that stock. So I'm always looking at that those future estimates and what the uh, resulting growth is expected to be. Uh, so that's a quick run through of the quarterly EPS and sales growth data. As I mentioned, we'll be adding other data points down to this table as well. And also going over to a weekly chart right here, you'll get to see that uh, the estimate data as well as the EPS and sales data automatically switches to an annual basis. But if you'd like, you can always switch it back uh, to that quarterly view, even on a weekly chart. So it's a really handy feature to both see the quarterly data as well as the annual data. And also, as I mentioned, to look at the estimates going out of ways in terms of quarters, as well as multiple years. Uh, so that's a quick run through of the stats table down here. You can always go ahead and hide the stats chart if you'd like to focus on the price action, but I like to keep it open, especially on the weekends when I'm going through a lot of stocks to get a view of both the technical um, aspect with my charts, as well as the fundamental, fundamental aspect when it comes to earnings and sales and their growth numbers. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful and take care.